Hey guys, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. Now, if you subscribe to my other channel, you may have seen this video that I posted not too long ago about how to design a channel banner for the new YouTube layout that's coming to a computer near you very soon. So even if you don't switch over, you will be forced to switch in the next two or three weeks. So you might as well jump on it before they switch it for you and then you're stuck with like no banner or no header. So check out that video. I'll link that video to this one and I'll also put it in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to that channel if you want to learn more about Photoshop and WordPress and all that because I talk more about those things on that channel. So I wanted to give a shout out to Beth Landy, one of my Facebook fans, because she asked me to do a video that focuses more on the rest of the layout. Because in that last video, I kind of talked more about the banner and all that kind of stuff, but I didn't really talk about the layout, the playlist, the homepage and all that stuff. So that's what I want to do in this video. So if you're logged into your channel, the first thing I want to point out is that not everybody sees this black bar. Only you, the channel owner, sees this. So your subscribers are not linked here your, or listed here. Your views are not listed here. Click this link over here that says view as public. And this is what everyone else sees. And your subscribers are down here. And notice for my unsubscribers, the channel trailer loads automatically. Not a big fan of the autoplay, but there's really no choice. I know a lot of people are kind of annoyed by that. But if you have a trailer, that's what you have to do. And if you don't have one, they will prompt you to add a trailer in this spot. But you don't necessarily have to if you don't want to. So if you notice, your number of subscribers is down here. The only way people can see your channel views is if they go to the about section and then it's down here in the corner. I know, real intuitive, right? And a lot of people are not happy about this because people like to show off their channel views. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to do that now with the new layout. And see, I just went back and this silly trailer started playing again. So let's hit done and go back to the channel owner view. So if you move down here, these tabs, this is pretty self-explanatory. You've got your homepage view. You've got your video view. So if people just want to see all of your videos and then there's the discussion board where people can leave you comments and then the about section and I'll show you how to edit that section in a bit but first let me come back over here see this little arrow if you click this you can toggle between what view you want to show right now the default is the browse view but you can also show your feed view and this is where you can create a post for your viewers to see and then your feed is down here so whatever you choose to show in your feed, some people show when they add a video to a playlist, when they like a video, all of that will show down here. So you can toggle between that. Now, if you want to turn off this view, you can come over here to settings and see it says the browse view is enabled. Configure it on your channel. You can actually disable it right here. And then here is where you show what is in that feed, which is what I was just showing you. And down here, you can choose whether or not you want your discussion comments to be displayed automatically, or if you want to approve them, then you would click this. Okay, so now let's talk about this view over here. Right now, this is what unsubscribers will see. They will see your trailer. But if you want to see what your homepage is going to look like to your subscribers, you click subscriber view. And then it says what to watch next. And then people can use these arrows to cycle through all of your videos. And then down here, you have all of your playlists and your recent uploads. And you can actually change what's here and how this is displayed. Let me show you. When you first switch over to the new channel, YouTube is just going to throw all of your recent activities, your, your playlists and everything in a, in a column or in a row just like this just down the page. Now, maybe you don't want all of this on your homepage. You can change that. So go to the section you want to move or change and this pencil icon will come up and you click that and then you can change what content is displayed, how it's displayed. And then if you want to delete that section altogether, you just click the trash can and then you say done. And if you delete a section and you're like, oh, I wish I could add that back, or if you want to change the order of everything, then you would delete it and then add a section down here. So this is how you add new sections and then, you know, change how it's displayed. And then you say done. Now, for those of you guys who saw my last video, you know, I talked about how to edit these links. They did finally fix the bug 
for those of you guys that don't know, when I would click edit links and then try to change those social links, I couldn't because my domain name starts with a number. Isn't that crazy? Well, they fixed it, so now I can add links. But first, up here where it says custom links, these links actually appear on your about page. And you can check this box that says overlay first link on channel art. So whatever's first is going to show up here. And these links right here are controlled down here. So if you click one of these drop downs, you can see all the different sites you can add. There's Google+, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. Oh my goodness, who is still using that? <laughs> so you can choose up to four links and then, you know, put the URL for each link. And then down here, you can decide to show your number of views and the date you join. And this will show up on your about page. Remember when I showed you that earlier, it was in the corner. And then at the bottom, you can show whatever feature channels you want to feature. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, you guys. A lot has changed. It's going to take some getting used to. I personally think it's a little cluttered. A lot of people are missing the fact that you can no longer add a background anymore. Everybody's background is white. So it kind of makes everyone's channel, you know, look the same. So you're really going to have to make yourself stand out through your channel banner, I guess, because that's really the only creativity you get now. So, yep. Like it or love it, it's what we got. I'm just happy the bug is fixed and I can change these links. By the way, plug, make sure you check out my Zazzle store. I created a little social media and web tea store. So some of the videos that you guys have seen me wear and that you're going to see me wear in my videos come from my own Zazzle store. So it was kind of fun to set up. So of course, I had to plug my little store. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck with your new channel design and I'll see you later. Bye.